Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a portrait and turn it into a text portrait using Photoshop Elements. Now I have this picture of myself that I took. It is a self-portrait and I've created some new layers. Let's look at these layers. I have a black layer right here. I have a text layer and then I have a little bit of a gradient layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original photo by going over to edit and revert. You don't have to do that. Go ahead and open one of your photos. Go into your tools palette and pick the crop tool right there. It's under the modify section of your toolbox right there and click that crop tool. And then on the face portion of your picture, let's draw a box right here. It doesn't matter what size the box is, but we do want to keep it just to the face. Now I am going to make it a little bit smaller here. And when I'm happy, I can either tick the green checkbox right there or I can hit the enter or return key on my keyboard. So there we have the photo. Now what I want to do is I want to enhance this photo just to give it a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to go under enhance. I'm going to select adjust lighting. Then I'm going to pick on my shadows and highlights. Now right off the bat you can see the background here. Depending upon your background I am going to lighten it just a little bit there but I don't want 33 so I am going to put it about 20 percent. Now you're going to have to adjust these to your liking. The next thing I'm going to do is take my mid-tone contrast and I'm going to bump that up just a little bit so the picture is a little more contrasty right there. Then I'm going to select OK. Now the picture doesn't look that great because there's a little bit too much contrast on there but we really like this because it gives us something to put the text on. The next thing I'm going to do is add a new layer and I want to do that with a keyboard shortcut that is a command shift N or if you're on a PC a control shift N. If we do that, it gives us the new layer dialog box, and then I'm going to select OK. Now, if you don't already have the black and white colors in your color palette, if you've been doing something else, you can always hit D on your keyboard, just the keyboard shortcut D. That will put black and white back in there. Now we're going to fill that transparent layer with the black, and we do that by holding the Alt or the Option button, and then hitting the Delete or backspace key and that will fill that with black. Now what you need to do is you need to go over and find some text. Maybe it's your favorite poem, maybe it's a story, whatever the case may be, let's go find some text. Now I went over to lorumipsum.com and I created just some randomly generated text and then I put that in a text editing document. So as you can see here, that's a bunch of Latin phrases and it's just random. And then what I did was is I took out any kind of paragraph markers or anything like that. And then I'm going to go to copy. So I'm going to copy all that text. If you had a story or if you had your favorite poem, you open it in some sort of a word processing program, you're going to copy all that text. Then we're going to go over here to the text tool. The type text tool, we want the horizontal type text tool. Select the down arrow and pick something really nice. I have one called Funky Chunk. I want something that's kind of thick and I wanted something that looked script. So you can use something else. I would advise you using something that's a little bit more bold, a little bit thicker, but something that you could still read and see that there is text. So I'm going to leave mine at Funky Chunk. Now the next thing I want you to do is, this is another one where you're, depending upon how big your picture was, you're going to have to adjust your point scale right here on your text. So I've selected two because I've been, been experimenting. I probably wouldn't go anything above about eight because you'll notice that it's too large for the picture and you don't really get to see it. The next thing I'm going to do is select white as my text color right there. Then after I have my font selected and my color selected and I'm on two points or whatever it is that you decided, I'm going to draw a box starting at the top left and go all the way down to the bottom right. Then I am going to do a Command V or a Control V depending upon if you're on a Mac or PC and I'm going to paste my text in there. Now you notice that the text doesn't fill up the entire box so I'm going to hit the space bar 
and then I'm going to Command V again. So I'm going to keep pasting that text in there until it's all the way down to the bottom. Now when I'm happy with that, I'm going to check the tick the green checkbox right there, or I'm going to hit Enter on the keyboard. Now we have the text on there. Now what we have to do is superimpose the picture or the portrait onto those particular letters. Now in order to do that, we're going to go to our Layers palette. Once again, if you don't see your Layers palette, you can come down onto the right-hand side. There's a little button that says Layers over there if you're on Photoshop 11. Now, you can do this in any version of Photoshop 11 all the way down to Photoshop Elements 9. And actually, even the full version of Photoshop, you can do this as well. We're going to click the Layer Mask right here and we're going to click that and it's going to add a little mask. Now what we need to do is we need to get our picture onto the layer mask. So I'm going to select the background layer. Then I'm going to hit Command A. That is a keyboard shortcut that says select all, everything that's in there. Although you can't see the picture right now, I am on the background layer and I'm also selecting the picture. So I hit Command A or Control A on a PC to select all. Then I'm going to select Control C for copy. Then we're going to paste it into this little white area. Now I click on it, but you notice you can't see the white area yet. That's because we have to hold the Alt or Option key down, and then we're going to click on that mask. Now you can actually see the mask. Then we're going to paste that picture into our mask by hitting the Command V. Now I know there's a lot of Command or Control keys. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach you a lot of these shortcuts. They're not real difficult. They're the most obvious ones. Some of you already know them. Control A, Command A, that is to select all. That's pretty universal. Control C and Control V or Command C and Command V, those are copy and paste and a lot of different programs use those. So I'm just trying to show you that in Photoshop Elements you can use the same Command or Control keys as many other programs. Now we've pasted our picture into our mask. Now what we need to do is we need to hide that again. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the Option key down. We're going to click on that again, and that's going to take us back to the original photo. And as you can see, it's starting to look really nice right there. We have the picture of our text, and it is now a text portrait. Now you notice right now that the marching ants are still around the picture, so we can hit the Command or Control D to get rid of those marching ants. Now this is a pretty good portrait right there. I still like it. If I hit Command Plus, I can kind of zoom in there a little bit and you can see that the text is actually there. Now if we want to add a little bit of color to this, we have to add a new layer. We're going to add a new layer with the Command Shift N and then we're going to select OK right over here and then we're going to add some color. So click on the foreground palette right there and pick something nice and bright. I have yellow selected over here, so I'm going to select yellow right there and select OK. And then I'm going to click on my background color right there, and then I'm going to pick orange right over here. I'm going to pick an orange color, select OK. So now that I have my yellow and orange selected, I'm going to click on my gradient tool. You can also hit G on your keyboard to get it to the gradient tool. And then I'm going to select from top to bottom going to select a line right there and what that's going to do is it's going to put the yellow to orange gradient on my picture. Now if we want to superimpose that on top of the picture or the text that we just put there, we're going to hit command or control G right there and that will superimpose that color on there. Now at any time you can always go back, change your colors. You can always go back and double click your text and and change your text if you want to into something a little bit different. But that's how you get your text portrait using a black layer, a text layer, and a gradient layer. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and please share this video with your friends. I hope you like it. Cheers!